2023, Atiku support base increase in Edo as Imas Ogbom and Uzameri back his ambition. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for all you do for this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Atiku Abubakar is pushing on, uh, despite the fact that Nigerians are telling him, showing him uh, their back, that we are not with you. We are not in support of recycled politicians. We want uh, uh, people who are consistent, people who have proven track record, people who've got, who have got integrity. We know Atiku, the strategy he's always used is uh, that of one Nigeria, that he believes in one Nigeria. The reason why he has connection with different regions, he's married from different regions of the country. But that is still not enough. It's not enough to tell us that... Um, uh, we can't bank on that alone, that that will make you a good president because you marry from different tribe, different ethnicity. It's still not good enough. Anyway, he's still pushing on. He's pushing on seriously. And um, his support base is increasing. His support base is increasing, even in Edo State, as um, two chieftains of the People's Democratic Party, they are rightly behind him. They are standing behind him. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Two chieftains of the People's Democratic Party, a former governorship aspirant of the party in the state, Kenneth Emaswagun and Senator Egi Uzameri, yesterday declared their support for the presidential ambition of former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Emas Ogbun, in a statement made available to journalists in Benin City, said, Abubakar remained the best choice of the PDP to defeat the ruling APC if the party is desirous of winning. He cautioned PDP governors and other party chieftains to call their supporters to order and refrain them from casting aspirations on Atiku. He said, how on earth can someone argue that Atiku should not be given our party's ticket on account of his age? Age is not a curse, but a blessing. For example, it is on record that the founding father and former president of Singapore, late Lee Kuan Yew, became president at a very old age and he led his country into economic prosperity. Same with former president Ronald Reagan of the United States. So what are they talking about? Again, if we're talking about fairness, equity, and justice, power should remain in the North. He's the most qualified in the North. And don't forget that the Northeast has not produced the president. Even if you leave the presidency open, he's the most qualified and his presidency will usher in prosperity for the country. On his part, Uzamere in a chat with journalists said, besides experience, Atiku Abubakar is the only person who is prepared to be president. He said, after Abba Femi Awolowo of blessed memory, Atiku is the next person in this country who is prepared to be president. When he was contesting under ACN, he told Nigerians that he was going to create a ministry for the Niger Delta. Musa Yaradua won. He did not understand what the man was going to do in that ministry. He quickly created it. When Atiku said he was going to privatize the NNPC, everybody was abusing him. But what is happening today? So they did not even know what the man wanted to do. They have privatized the NNPC. They can't go nowhere because the structure is not there. These two PDP chieftains, um, they are calling on PDP governors. So I know they are speaking to Governor God in Obaseki, telling him that Obaseki, you better start um, rooting for Atiku Abubakar. But it's very, it's, it's so clear. We don't even need any prophet to find out what Nigerians feel about um, Atiku Abubakar's presidency. Nigerians are stating no. Anyways, it's mixed reactions, but the majority, majority are saying, let's get fresh mind, let's get new hands, not same same people who have been in politics, because it looks like because they've been in politics, uh, they will do it the same way, the same way it was done, no change, because the country is at a stage right now that um, 
we are in desperate need of change true change not the type that apc promised by the way apc promised change and we didn't know that the change they were talking about is change to the negative to the negative side everything they met they, even the debt pdp left for them they tripled the debt rather than reducing the debt they tripled it increased the debt the security situation is worse worse now very bad to the extent that international community they are worried they are so concerned we can't even talk about the economy a lot of things are not in place let's tell ourselves the truth we tell ourselves the truth the country is in a bad shape well Tiku abubakar eh, those that are supporting him they believe that uh, he's got everything you know doc Percy was saying the other day that uh, he cannot see anybody better than Atiku abubakar that he's the only one that can be president and put the country in track put the country in the right place but another thing we'll look at we'll look at these guys we'll look at their their motives because Atiku Abubakar is one politician who has contested in virtually all of the elections. Let it not be that it's just out of desperation. I want to be, uh, I want to occupy the number one seat. He's contested a lot of times, although he's not won. And if they're saying he's the best, he should have won. I mean, that's my own opinion anyway. My own thoughts. He should have won in those other times. This is not the first time he's contesting. So what they are trying to do right now, um, they are trying to buy into... Um, other leaders because these two pdp chieftains they are telling the pdp governors that they should start supporting atiku abubakar these two chieftains they are from edo state former uh, governorship candidate in maswagbu kenneth maswagbu and also senator egi uzameri they are the ones stating that um, atiku abubakar is the person to beat they've given their support meaning that they've endorsed him that yes he should carry on he has their support and all they all that is left for them to do is to try to rally around their people and speak to their people speak to governors and um the <laughs> atiku abubaka will be the best nigerians are already reacting and as a matter of fact uh, from a those states someone says that emaswa gun always support wrong candidates interesting that is always supporting the wrong candidate another one says these people don't really know what they want they are selling their birthright for a morsel of bread this is why edo state is where it is now you know these two pdp chieftain from edo state they are they are confidently saying that it's still the turn of the north meanwhile all of the southern governors are stating as a turn of the south however for some reasons these two chieftains they are maintaining that uh, it's the turn of the north and also he's stating that uh, they, they stated that uh, it's only the north that has got what it takes to put the country in the right direction <laughs> a question mark is on that one big question mark that is only the north well guys let's hear your own thoughts thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe to like come your way again on more updates bye